The militants in Oregon want to topple the government, or return federal land to the locals, or just free a couple arsonists. No one really knew. And now one of them is dead, reportedly after charging a cop. The other leaders are also behind bars. But other militants still remain. They're trying to show that armed insurrection in America is possible. That you can ignore laws and overthrow elected officials with assault rifles and snipers and threats of violence. All of this to combat a tyranny that doesn't exist. In fact, some of these seditionists have already received tens of thousands of dollars in government subsidies. How's that for hypocrisy? And this is still happening in Oregon, even though almost all of these militants are from out of state. One of them doesn't believe the US ever had slavery. Another posts messages supporting ISIS, and yet these guys call themselves patriots? One said he showed up because he saw a flock of geese, a sign from God, he said, to join the militia. Unfortunately, that sign from God means he's now threatening one of the best birding sanctuaries on the entire continent. I've been there. I know this place. There's nothing in Oregon like Malheur. Even if you've never been to Eastern Oregon, you should care about the precedent these guys are trying to set. This isn't some protest that cable news may say it is. It's not even just an occupation. Let's call it what it is. This is an armed insurrection in an American state. These guys have been forcefully resisting arrest for nearly a month. And one of the worst parts? These goons didn't receive a single mention. Not a one in the last GOP debate. So much for the party of safety and security. But these guys don't deserve silence. They deserve to be arrested because of the environmental threat they pose, because of the precedent they are trying to set. And because if you're an American taxpayer, they're trying to take a place that belongs to you.